Assistant Speaker, I present the Investment Promotion Amendment Bill 2022. The bill is to amend the Investment Promotion Act 1992, reform law relating to foreign investment certification, and to facilitate promotion of micro, small, and medium enterprises and for related purposes. Minister for Commerce and Industry Henry Amuli, on submitting the bill to Parliament, noted that the previous Foreign Investment Regulatory Authority or FIRA bill has resulted in foreign investors withdrawing their investments in the country. He said this bill presented is a balanced policy proposal put forward through Investment Promotion Authority to assist SMEs as well as providing foreign investors with confidence. The FIRA bill went too far in restricting businesses' activities and was damaging PNG's reputation and attractive destination for foreign investors. Some of the key changes involved in the bill included changing the foreign certification system to process applications quicker, automatically, and rejecting applications for reserved activity list to support SME, creating a registrar for foreign investors, and to review the RAL at least every three years. This is good news for SMEs. Additional activities can be reserved for citizens involvement with controls to prevent SMEs being hit with additional input caused from lower domestic competition and we will have better enforcement will target non-compliant foreign businesses. The bill is supported by both the government and opposition. Prime Minister James Marape commended the minister, stating it is the first step towards supporting local business and investment in the country. Mr. Speaker, as we took office, our focus was on uh, taking back our country from wrong hands. And one major focus was in the space of business and SMEs. We placed in uh, and we started a program. We gave commitment on how we would start to empower our people to be engaged in businesses, and this is a key focus area uh, that differentiates our government from the past government. Cynthia Maku, National MTV News.